The Farms.com Wheat Report is brought to you by Altitude FX and BASF Canada. Charlie Pearson, I'm a Provincial Crop Market Analyst with Alberta Agriculture and Rural Development. We've seen wheat rally with uh, corn and soybeans and canola other crops in the last little while here, but probably uh, wheat is, uh, is not rallied as much as some of the other crops. Um, I think uh, wheat will have some challenges as we go through the, the next year here. Uh, lots of supplies around the world. Uh, so that probably is going to hold back wheat price gains. The one area of optimism will be on the quality side. Uh, spring wheat uh, in North America and probably around the world is in fairly tight supply. So that's going to, if you're a, a high quality one and two uh, Canada Western Red Spring wheat with higher protein, I, I think you can have some optimism looking ahead here. So yeah, I, I think uh, if uh, there are very optimistic about crops looking ahead here and this through the winter time, um, I think probably the higher quality wheat end would be something that I would be more likely to store and put into the bin. Uh, you know, for canola, and, and uh, I think we've had a nice rally in probably the last month or so here. Some pretty decent basis levels. I think canola is probably a crop that I would be selling as, as best I could and, and would be putting that money in, in the bank kind of thing. So feed grains are probably somewhere middle, middle of the road here. We're looking at relatively tight uh, bar, feed barley supplies in Western Canada. That's going to keep prices up a little bit. We've got a lot of corn south of us. It's rallied in the last little while, but it, it's a question when you have the volume of corn in the U.S., how much optimistic you can be on, on the feed grain side. Plus, we have a lot of feed wheat to, has to, to eat through as well, so that's going to be another negative factor for feed grain prices. Well, I guess on wheat basis, so one of the issues has just been a real learning experience this last year, and I think a lot of farmers are, are a little bit crabby that they had fairly wide uh, basis levels with wheat, and when I'm saying that, I'm looking, I guess, at, at the relationship between the U.S. futures markets and Canadian futures markets. Uh, a lot of Western Canadian farmers have looked at the relationship between U.S. futures prices and the local cash prices, and they've been fairly wide over the last winter. They've narrowed up here in, in recent days. So I think it's one of the things that we've learned is, is that basis variability in wheat is going to be fairly large as we go, as we go forward here. Uh, that's probably something that farmers are going to have to learn more about, and it's maybe something they're going to have to live with as well. So. Uh, just looking at grain movement, uh, actually things have been uh, been moving at least out of Alberta at, at a fairly rapid pace the last little while here. Uh, we've had probably a bit of a delayed harvest and that's held back I guess a little bit on deliveries. Uh, price Farmers have probably looked at prices and that's probably held them back as well. But the system is actually performing fairly well in here right now and if you look at grain movement out of the elevator system it has been going at a, at a good pace, good export demand, good movement out of the port position and farmers have had opportunity to, to move grain out of Alberta at a fairly rapid pace. Well Alberta Agriculture has a website uh, 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 farm manager. Uh, it's on uh, Alberta Agriculture Open the Web. We have information on marketing markets and uh, marketing tools so it helps farmers with some with some skill set development and helps explain some of the tools and one thing or another. So that's one place. I guess the other encouragement is to just farmers to just try some things. Uh, just if you haven't used futures and options before uh, maybe just educate yourself a little bit about what they are and then from there just try just try it a couple times just to find out uh, whether it has a fit with your business or not. No, I think uh, uh, one of the issues that I would highlight this year is to just have, for most farmers, to have a, a marketing plan of some shape or form. Uh, they'll know what the finances of their farm are, they'll also know uh, kind of when their cash flow needs are. So that whole business perspective and then from there to just to set some target prices uh, and these types of things and just when, when it's right, when, uh, when prices are kind of hit your plateaus or when they've hit your targets for farmers to just pull the trigger, uh, it's probably not a year for procrastination. Uh, it's probably a year when, when taking some action early on is probably a good thing. Uh, the other thing to take advantage of the rallies. If the market gives you some higher prices, then don't be afraid to pull the trigger on, on some of your crop. Not all of it, but at least some of your crop. The Farms.com Wheat Report has been brought to you by Altitude FX and BASF Canada. Visit www.clearfield.ca slash wheat for more cereal solutions.